Dr. Nichols' plant manager. Ah! Then I'm terribly sorry. There's, there's been an awful mix-up. Would you believe I was never told about your visit? I've tried to clear things up, Professor Scott. I explained that you'd come all the way here from Edinburgh on appointment to study methods of manufacturing by Plexicor. But they don't seem to know anything about it. <laughs> don't know anything about it? I find it hard to believe that I've come millions of miles... Thousands, thousands. Well, thousands of miles on an invited tour of inspection. Professor to be Scott, if you I just... demand to see the owners. I demand... Professor Scott, just take it easy. Dr. Nichols has offered to take us around the plant personally. He has? Yes. With pleasure. Well, that's different. Gregory! Whoa! Professor! May, uh, my assistant join us? Of course. Don't bury yourself in the park. Well, this is a fine place you have here, Dr. Nichols. Thank you. And I must say, Professor, your knowledge of engineering is most impressive. Yes, back home we call him the miracle worker. Indeed. <laughs> uh, may I offer you something, gentlemen? Dr. Nichols, I might be able to offer something to you. Yes? I notice you're still working with polymers. Still? What, what else would I be working with? Aye, what else indeed? I'll put it another way. How thick would a piece of your plexiglass need to be at 60 feet by 10 feet to withstand the pressure of 18,000 cubic feet of water? Oh, that's easy. Six inches. We carry stuff that big in stock. I uh, noticed. Now, suppose, just suppose, I were to show you a way to manufacture a wall that would do the same job, but be only one inch thick. Would that be worth something to you, eh? <laughs> You're joking. Perhaps a professor could use your computer. Please. Computer? Computer? Ah. Hello, computer. Just use the keyboard. The keyboard? How quaint. Transparent aluminum? That's the ticket, laddie. Oh, uh, it'd take years just to figure out the dynamics of this matrix. <laughs> yes, but you would be rich beyond the dreams of avarice. So, is that worth something to you? Or should I just punch up clear? No. No. Not now, Madeline! What exactly did you have in mind? Well, a moment alone, please. You uh, realize, of course, if we give him the formula, we're altering the future. Why? How do we know he didn't invent the thing? <laughs> 